Hello, my name is Mike, I'm from Access Irrigation Limited. Today we're looking at saddle fittings. Now saddle fittings are especially useful if you want to have a takeoff along a distribution or supply pipe. Now traditionally you would use a T, but you can see how bulky that is uh, compared to the saddle fit, and of course the cost uh, is different as well. Where would you use a saddle fitting? Well, if you want to take, have a takeoff for a pop-up sprinkler, for example, a saddle fitting is very useful for that because it's a quick and easy method of doing it. No cutting of the pipe, the saddle fitting simply clamps around the pipe uh, and then you drill the hole as you take off. Now the saddle fittings we supply all come in sealed bags. The reason for that is obviously to keep them clean but all the components, the various screws, the nuts and the seal itself are also confined within that bag so you don't lose any of them. If we take the various components we have the top section, the base section, two bolts, two nuts and the seal itself. Now the seal is most important because this actually does the sealing on the pipe. Now this saddle fitting is a 32 mil uh, and we would usually recommend 32 mil pipe sizes upwards to have a saddle fitting used. This is rated at 6 bar. When you get up to the bigger pipes like the 50 mil pipe you'll see the change is they have four bolts and they have a much greater seal inside there, much bigger and much thicker and that can rate that rate that is rated up to 16 bar so you can see it's a much heavier thing but for most situations a six bar saddle is fine how do you fit them well this is a 32 mil pipe make sure it's 32 that you're using and they're always stamped on there to give you a clue make sure the outlet also is sized according to what size you actually want so for a pop-up sprinkler swing joints normally three quarters i have an inch one here uh, which we're going to use. Now because the saddle fitting seals on the outside of the pipe always make sure where you want it to fit to is, is nice and clean and without any gouges or uh, uh, marks on it. So how you fit it? Well let's assemble the components first of all. The base, the bolts fit through and then they're captive once they're locked into position so you don't need to worry about them falling out. So lock those in first of all in like so and then you can move the uh, move the fitting around without them falling out and the actual o-ring as well locates in its own position inside there and again once you fit it in it won't drop out again another good feature when you're outside uh, in a trench for example trying to fit these okay so first of all we find our bit of pipe the area that we want to seal onto and we locate the base into it and then we fit the top like so ensuring the seal is located and then you put the nuts on and you need a 13 mil spanner for this and a 13 mil spanner will do all of the saddles even the larger ones as well and when you tighten it down just tighten it evenly You don't need to get a great big pair of Stilsons on this, you just nip them up and you'll see when they're tied. Make sure when you're tightening up the saddle that it's in the position you want it to be because at the moment we haven't made any commitment, we haven't drilled any hole in there so we haven't committed it to anything so just make sure it's in the, exactly the right position you want to do and if you're doing it in a trench you can actually do them outside of the trench and drop them in later. So that's nice and tight you can see that that's clamped around it. Now we want to do the takeoff. Now you could use a drill uh, be very careful if you do, uh, only really a step drill is acceptable for doing this. What you don't want to do is drill through and damage the pipe with that side and we certainly don't want to damage where it's sealing there. So what we use is this saddle cutting tool, it's specially designed for it. You'll see what size they are on the side, this one is a 15mm. If we take the top off you'll see then a very sharp blade and then a locating pin. So how this does is you push it into the fitting, locate the spigot and then give it a twist and you, when you do it you'll see 
or you'll feel it drop down into there. Then if I take that off, there's the slug there. You'll also notice on the saddle, perfectly round hole, no damage to the seal either or the saddle fitting itself either and there's no burr or no bits of swarf that have gone into it and if you want to remove it you simply pull that off and it, it jumps off always pop the top back on there for safety reasons but now we have a perfect takeoff now and so we can fit our fitting in obviously we'll need some PTFE on that whatever we screw into it